2022 has given us open borders, more travel, and lots of employers saying, come on back to the office. But it's also given us more COVID, more strains, second and even third infections, and a lot of employees saying, I need to work from home because I've got a sick child and I can't come in, or because I'm sick and I can't come in. I'm Joel Lilovich, I'm the founder of 3D HR Legal and the author of Home Force. At the initial height of the pandemic in 2020, I remember having a conversation with a particular client about putting in place a work from home policy. I asked them at the time, is this policy going to continue after the pandemic is over? Of course, believing like everybody at the time that you know it would be dealt with in a much shorter period of time than we've seen. And they said, blanketly, no way. I was really surprised. They were a software company and if anyone was designed for working from home, it was going to be a tech company. But they said no, because they had found out that one of their staff was choosing to care for their one-year-old while supposedly also working from home. So this issue of childcare and work from home isn't new, but it is one that we are substantially dealing with now. It happens for two main reasons. First, it's the one-off. So it's the emergency where a child is sick and can't go to their normal um, childcare arrangement, or it might be that school's closed and so they're not going to school that particular day. And then it also happens in instances where employees say regularly, I want to work from home every Wednesday because I want to be at home with my child on that day and not have them in childcare. So what do you do? Now you could of course have a blanket rule that just says no children at home when you're working from home um, or perhaps a little bit more fairly that you can't be the primary carer of a child who's at home when you are there working from home. So if there was a, a childcare provider or your partner or someone else then it would be okay that the child was in the house with you while you're working from home but you can't be that carer. If you don't want to do that blanket of rule, then there's five things that I would say that you need to have a think about when deciding how you want to deal with these types of scenarios. Number one, what you allow for one person is going to potentially create a precedent. So you need to be really clear on when you're allowing for it and when you're not, and not just do it on the basis that you like somebody. Second thing, an employee's primary duty during work hours is to get their work done. So you need to make sure that they are really clear on what that work is that they need to do. Is there a job description? Is there a statement of duties of some description that says what's expected of them, no matter when they're at home or in the office? And how are you going to assess their productivity against that statement? Number three. As an employer, you are responsible for providing a safe place of work for the employee and any visitors to that place of work. So that could potentially include a child who is in that place of work. So how are you going to maintain the safety of that employee and their children in circumstances where that employee is caring for their child while also working from home? Number four, permanent employees do have access to carer's leave um, options for emergency situations uh, or when a child is sick and needs to be cared for. So if they have that, do they really need to be working from home on the day that they're also caring for that child? Is there a reason why that employee is not wanting to access those existing personal leave provisions and is instead suggesting that they work from home? And finally, the fifth thing that I think that you should consider, do you have some kind of formal flex work policy in place that allows your employees to approach you and make applications for flexible work? For example, compressed working weeks or changing their hours and days to enable them to care for their child on the day that they want to while still completing the work that they need to do for the week. Is this something that you could provide instead of creating a situation where employees feel that they want to work from home and be the childcare provider on that particular day? If you need help creating any policies around this or communicating the do's and don'ts around this to your workforce, then please get in touch with us at hello at 3dhrlegal.com.au.